Hey, it's uh, dessert time with uh, Javon Bess from uh, the St. Louis Billikens. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Good to see you. I'm doing good. Awesome. How's uh, how's everything going? I know you've been battling here. You know, not 100%. Uh, your team is picked first, and you've gone through a little bit of a stretch, but yeah. you got a great ball club. Yeah, yeah. We've been battling through some adversity, but that just shows how tough we are. We just got to bounce back. We still got a lot of games left to make it happen. Absolutely. Now, hey, tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you're the first one in the gym, they say, at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. You apparently have no trouble getting up early as a college yeah. student, right? Yeah. I mean, what's up with that? <laughs> no, I've always been like that, though. I've always woke up early. I even did it in high school. I started in part of my senior, junior, senior year working out in the mornings. Because mm -hmm. in high school, that's pre pretty much the only time you can or unless you go late at night. So that's just been some part of my routine since I was in high school. What time do you go to bed at night? Um, I go to bed early, actually. It just depends if we, we, we got practice. Just depending on how the day is going. But for the most part, I try to go to bed by eleven before yeah. eleven. Yeah, that's the key, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there's a big difference between like eleven and midnight, too, yeah, yeah. right? Huge you know, difference. One hour. Huge difference. I yeah. can definitely feel it in the morning. That's good. That's good. Now, what? About, I mean, that's a that's an awesome example too, really, for the rest of this team. That you're top the top player yourself. You're in there in the mornings. You're getting extra work in. You're the first to practice, the last to leave. Uh, how important is that for you, and then how much does that set an example for the rest of these guys? It's, it's huge for me, and like you said, just to set an example for the for you know the freshmen and sophomores. We got a pretty young team, you know. We got a lot of freshmen, three freshmen, then a couple of uh, sophomores. So, just trying to show them the culture, build a different culture here at St. Louis, and show them how hard work pays off. How about your um, your run here? You started, you grew up in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. You started a career in Michigan State couple of years now here at St. Louis. Give me that whole dynamic. Uh, what was it like right when you were in high school and then your uh, first stop in college? Uh, it was in high school, people, I was more of a football guy in high school, early in high school, like from middle school transition into high school. I was, I liked football better. I always yeah. was a big football fan. Then around my junior year, that's when I tried to just lock in on basketball. And, um, and then after my, I played in the UIBL with all Ohio. Then after that, the UIBL session, that's when a lot of you know bigger schools started calling and stuff like that. And then I ended up at Michigan State, which was a good time there too. Michigan State, like I still have a good relationship with those guys. I still talk to my old coach. You know, I talk to old players, everything. So, you know, it was just a thing where I kept getting injured. You know, and then confidence, my confidence was down. Their confidence probably down in me a little bit. So I just needed a fresh start. Yeah, that's good. That works out. There's like so many factors. I think I don't think people really understand. They look at just sometimes like the talent level of a player, mm -hmm. or even if like in the pros too, and they're like, yeah. "Why did they trade that guy? What did he yeah. go?" There's like, how about him in the locker room? How about him as a person? How about him fitting with the rest of the team, with yeah. the coaches? I mean, there could just be a multitude of reasons, good or bad, right? Right, I right, mean, for sure. You know. So how about now when you come to St. Louis, and what did you expect here? And you know, what's what's that been like for you? Uh, it was a lot different coming from like a college town into right. like a you know a city. St. Louis right yeah. in the middle of the city, so that was that was a big difference right there. And then just the culture, you know, they had him. They won here, you know. I think it was 2014, maybe yeah. it was the last summer, 13. Mm -hmm. So they went through a stretch where they was at the bottom of the league. And Coach Ford, it was his first year here. It was my first year here too. So I just realized the culture Coach Ford was trying to build, a hard working culture, and bringing in some kids that would do that. Yeah. Talk about your family a little bit. I know you're a mother, April, father, Myron, and mm -hmm. you said you had three sisters. One's older, two younger, mm -hmm. right? You're yeah. right there yeah. in the middle. What, what's uh, the family like? Do they come to a lot of the games? Do, they, do you talk to them a lot? I mean, what, what are they doing? How's that work? Yeah, my dad, my dad comes to the ones he can. You know, my mom been in my – she came to my first one. That was pretty much it. They'll all be at the Dayton game. Everybody be – that's the only close game right. for right. us and right. everything on the East Coast. But, you know, all we all play basketball. We all play basketball. My sister ended up graduating from Kent State, my older sister. So you're just a basketball family. Like that's what we know. Really sports in general. Sports in general. Like I said, I play yeah. football. My little sister ran track, the youngest one. So, you know, just big on sports. Yeah. How about for you uh, in trying to get to the next level, uh, your career when it's all said and done from St. Louis? What are you thinking uh, yeah. after that? Just hopefully keep playing. Like I just want to keep playing and, you know, just be the best player I can be. And wherever that takes me, to take me, just keep working hard. All right, so we're enjoying a little dessert here. We got just like mm -hmm. this, this is standard vanilla ice cream, yeah, right? We got yeah. a cookie. I think you already had your cookie. Yeah. Um, what kind of uh, food do you enjoy? Do you, I mean, do you have a lot of dessert normally? What, what kind yeah. of stuff do you eat? I, yeah, that's one thing I got to change. I got to change my diet. You know, yeah, I got to change my diet definitely. But yeah, me too. I don't know. I'm pretty. 
<clears throat> Pretty simple. You know, I, I like breakfast food, though. That's oh, why okay. I, I can eat breakfast food any meal of the day. Yeah. Every day I can eat breakfast food. So oh, that's correct. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. Well, you got, you know, high metabolism, right? Yeah. I mean, you're running it <laughs> off, right? See, that's the thing. You got yeah. to enjoy this because this is the time where you can eat and do whatever the heck you want because it's yeah. not going to affect you yeah. as bad. Yeah. You know, you got to my position if you have, you know, this stuff and you're not at the gym regularly, yeah. you're in trouble. You yeah, know? Well, I'm getting older, though. I can feel it a little oh, bit. I'm okay. starting to feel it, so I'm getting, oh, yeah, no. I definitely got to change it. Don't say don't say that, right? I know we all joke around like, I love it because I'm from New England and everybody gives me a hard time, but I'm a Patriots fan, so I was excited mm-hmm. about it. Listen, Tom Brady's 41 is not the average person's 41. Right. I love how they always like, oh, he's 41. He's been working out like crazy yeah. for 10 years. Like He probably does it's not amazing. feel the way everybody else feels, right? Yeah. So that's different, too, as an athlete. People mm-hmm. don't understand that. You know, I think yeah. you guys go through a lot of stuff, but you're hopefully able to take it, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What else are you working on? What else are you doing? Um, you know, let me say outside of basketball. Mm-hmm. I know you probably don't do a lot of other things because you're working on, hard at the game. Mm-hmm. You're in school, hanging with your teammates. But what are your other hobbies outside uh, of hoop? That you I'm a big doing? Netflix guy. I okay. like Netflix. Yeah, I like series. You got any good series, you let me know. Yeah, but I got, I, yeah I'm, I'm a big, go over that. huge Netflix guy. Though. I like watching Netflix a lot. What's the one I'm watching now? Uh, I don't think it's on Netflix, but I've got a couple of different shows in rotation. Yeah. Like, but I love how they've been able to just develop their own series yeah. now. You know, they yeah. have a million of them. Yeah. Like, what, what is your what's your favorite one? Uh, what the you? Blacklist. Blacklist. Prison Break. Yeah. Prison Break was probably my favorite. Yeah. You know, but I finished that. Prison Break was good, but yeah. the Blacklist I think that might be my favorite one on Netflix. That's awesome. Yeah. I've been watching it too. I watched yeah. that actually. Yeah, we we saved that. I mean, you could really. There's a lot of seasons. You know, yeah. you sit yeah. there and you can go crazy all yeah. that. I did. I think it's what. Four, yeah, um, four on uh, Netflix. It took me about a month, probably, if that. You try to catch yeah. up, you know. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, my wife and I we recorded. Then of course I go on the road, and I'm like, yeah. I have to come back. I'm gonna try to catch up. I, oh, I'm sorry. You know, did you already watch it or what? <laughs> you know, so. Um, but no, that's good. Hey, anything else that uh, you know you want like people to know about you or the university or things that you're trying to do that maybe isn't out there? Not really. Like I said, just right now, just all about winning games. Kind of locked in on the season. Like I said, locked in on the season and. You know, we went through a little, like you talked about, went through a little drive, lost a few games. But now, pick it back up, beat, beat a good team in Dayton, and now it's just locked back in. All right. Well, look at Eva. All the best the rest of the season. It's great talking to you. Let's enjoy some dessert here, and right. uh, we'll catch you in the Yeah, soon. appreciate it. All right, you got it, man. Thanks. It. Yep, no problem.